Arizona, if I take, uh, well, I'm kind of looking at in mirror image right now on my smartphone. And from the middle of the word, I get O-S-I-R, which sounds like Osiris, which is an Egyptian thing. Okay, what else are we going to talk about? Uh, we're not going to talk anything about Osiris. But this is sometimes what I do, is I look in the mirror to see what something looks like backwards to see if there are hidden words. Uh, this is a technique known... Uh, where the heck is it? Well, I don't see it. Put it away somewhere. What is Jacques Derrida? And he goes looking for hidden meanings in words as a form of what he calls literary criticism, Jacques Derrida. And that's what I was taught to do by uh, Rumpelstiltskin, who was well versed in Jacques Derrida. Anyway, uh, that's what I got uh, for your homework. Should you choose to do some homework, you can look up the Egyptian Osiris to see what it's all about. Uh... Hi, I'm Yoshi the Dragon. Uh, I don't really understand what Osiris, but if I'm going to come, I like to talk about how I'm going to get involved with a big, some humans call it shit. Okay, this one is, this one from this place. Uh, what do we want to talk about? Is Stewie a little shit? This is someone off the street wearing a white hat backwards. Uh, um, it don't mean nothing, he says. Whether Stewie is a little shit or a big shit, it don't mean nothing. I don't watch Family Guy. Uh, I don't like comedies. I don't like The Simpsons. I don't like Married with Children. Uh, I don't like Bewitched. And I don't like uh, I Dream of Genie. Uh, I much prefer... Um, Mm, can't say. I don't know. I don't have a preference. I just don't like those TV shows. I don't really like to watch comedy shows. Uh, if I'm going to watch TV, I like to watch... I can't say. It doesn't matter to me. Whatever comes on, I'll look at it. If I like it, I do. If I don't, I turn it off. All right, it's Bob Frizzell for the reality game. I'm wearing my Las Vegas pink hat and uh what does it all mean hmm we're going to go and look at an old record this one is in living stereo it's very difficult with the lighting because of all the reflections but this one is called south pacific and it is rogers and hammerstein hammerstein uh it stars Rosano, Bratzi, Mitzi Gaynor, and John Kerr with Ray Walston. Uh, the singing voice of Emil de Bac is Giorgio Tozzi, etc., etc. Um, I don't know. I was looking for the year when this was made, and I don't see it here. So, I don't know. What's the point of this? I was going to play this uh, thing. I bought this at the dollar store, or it was a value village, you know. It was like, it was a dollar, and it was at the used store. And um, I still have a record player. And if I'm there, I always take a look. And because they're, they're only a dollar, you know, I'm kind of running out of room for records. But sometimes I just like something new. And 
I know I can get all kinds of stuff on YouTube, but the simple fact is I don't know the songs. When I buy a record like this, I don't know what's on this record. So if I've just got YouTube, how am I even going to know to to find this? In other words, it's nice to have a physical thing. A physical thing because you found it in a store. How are you going to find this if you've never heard of it before? Maybe someone's going to mention it. That's not finding it. That's someone mentioning it to you. You find this by going looking for physical things. When was the last time you went to any place and looked for a physical thing? Well, I go to Walmart to get my peanut butter. That's not what I mean. Have you been to a pawn shop? Have you been to a church bazaar? Have you been to one of those old-fashioned dumps where, you know, people bring their stuff and some of the goods are still good? You can find stuff at these dumps. You can find stuff. There's places you can go where there's physical stuff that's still good. Anyway, uh, getting back to our story... A person on the street with a red hat backwards. It's not going to be too easy to tell you if I am a blood or a crip wearing a red hat, question mark. Okay, we're back to Stewie being breastfed. Uh, I don't know where we're going with this because I still am surrounded by stupid shits. Why do I keep saying this? Why are so many of my videos about stupid shits? Because in my real life I am surrounded by stupid shits all the time. Are you? If you're on planet Earth, it's quite likely. Okay, so I'll see the dragon. Uh, if I'm around stupid chits, I usually look at them and I say, mm, if you're going to be a stupid chit, you know, I've got these little powerful fists. And, you know, they're going to bop you. So, you know, stop being a stupid chit or get the hell away from me. Okay, this is just some guy on the street wearing a pink hat backwards. It's not Bob Frizzell. Uh... I'm never going to figure out what to do with people who are stupid shits, question mark. Uh, someone says that it's the Alvin Lee and 10 years after song, uh, something about changing the world, and I don't know what to do, so I leave it up to you. No. What am I expecting to see? Uh, all the signs are, despite the fact the stupid shits keep saying uh, it's all totally irrelevant, all the signs are the world is changing. And we are getting help from other realms. And the stupid shits keep saying, uh, if you see something like this, it's me, and I'm playing a trick on you to give you false hope. The stupid shits really want you to believe that they are in control and it, the ones around me are unbelievable. They wake me up in the middle of the night and they abuse me and torment me to prove that nothing is going to change and that they are the ones who are going to always, for eternity, keep me as their prisoner where they can torment me because they can. These are the stupid shits demons what else can i tell you about stupid shit demons uh stupid shit demons are active in your life question mark um the question is on the floor i don't know i don't know what about the angelics and these other kind of beings from other realms i don't know in my world i primarily am witnessing stupid shit demons and uh, what else do I witness? I witness uh, a lot of humans 
who are stupid shit demons. So it's true. The ones that uh, in the first batch I said, the stupid shit demons, they're in my world, they're non physical. But the stupid shit demon humans are in my physical. Seems like I've got a lot of stupid shit demons. Some of them I can, you know, be like Yoshi and threaten with a punch. And some of the ones that are in, you know, here, but not physically where I can punch them, seem like they're much more difficult to deal with. The answer is I'm never going to be able to deal with the, either of them. It's not a question mark. I cannot deal with things that are not capable of making a contract. They say, well, you don't have anything to offer us except your mind and body that we can abuse for free eternally because we're your God. This is what they want to be. And uh, at the present time, are they? Uh, sometimes they act like it, believe it or not. Uh, they can really afflict you and change your reality and really hurt you. The point of the matter is these stupid shit demons, the non-physical ones, are, can't be fixed. And what's going to happen to them, I'm not really sure. All I know is that as we go through uh, the great changes of consciousness on the planet, these stupid shit demons long ago were given the choice. Stop being stupid shit demons or not. And it was given to them over and over and over and over and over again until finally one day when I was driving around telling them the same thing over and over again, something changed. And what I got was, oh, the door is closed. You were given the offer multiple, 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 multiple times. And it was explained to you multiple, 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 multiple times. Again and again and again and again and again. And, again. and then finally, uh, whoever it was that told me this, I don't know who it was. They said, well, too bad. The door is closed. You made your choice. We accept the fact that you have chosen not to change. So you are going to be a shit demon for the rest of your life. So the offer was made to these beings and it was explained to them everything, all the signs were everywhere. They associate with humans who can follow YouTube and they can follow books. They decided uh, and so the decision was finally fine, that's what you want. And uh, even from time to time it is still brought up to them uh, I know we closed the door, but do you want us to open the door again so that you can um, rejoin the family of beings? No, nope. no, nope. no. Nope. So I don't know how much longer they're going to get these occasional, we call them portals. The portal opens for a little while. Do you want to change? Check you out. Has something changed since the last time? You told us to fuck off. Uh... How much longer are they going to keep opening these portals back and forth? They're not telling me. How much longer do I have to suffer with non-physical demonics? Most of the time when I ask this question, I get the question back. How many more evil demonics do you want to have come visit you? I've never heard that answer before, by the way. The answer is I don't want any. I didn't want these ones. What about the humans? I'm going to have to skip over the question because I don't have an answer for you right now, Mr. Shit Demon. What about the human shit demons? Uh, uh, 
I don't know. I don't know is the question. I get stories from other humans, uh, you know, mostly from YouTube. And do they pan out? Uh, it doesn't seem to be too much of a consistent story. The stories change even from the same commentators. God knows the stories that, I, that come through me seem to change. So does it mean that we're bouncing around on different timelines to major change? Or is it that the shit demons are offering this up as false hope so that they can keep your hope up <coughs> or something? Uh, someone wants to say, why do you bother doing these videos? Mostly because the shit demons want me to make videos. Why do they want me to make videos? Uh, because they're shit demons and, you know, there's no purpose to it. It's just something, you know, we can do. Uh, and in the end, it's my reality game. I'm Bob Frizzell.